Where are you going? To the club. Mm -hmm. The discotheque. Okay. Mm, I will do your makeup then. What do you mean, why? <laughs> Because I am a philosopher, I am a writer, I am an existentialist, but I am as well a skilled makeup artist. <laughs> you didn't know that. Well, of course you didn't know that, I mean, it is hard for um, people to understand women can be more than one thing. But anyway, close your eyes, I will start with the eye makeup and I will be using this shade. Mm, I don't know if you can really see, but it's like a bit of an orange shade. I think it will go well with your um, complexion. But yes, so close your eyes. Mm -hmm. So tell me everything. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, mm, that is so cute. And you want to get married? <laughs> well, um, I mean, one thing is for sure is I will not be preparing you for your wedding. I mean, do you realize that uh, women are being held in a relationship of long-standing oppression to men through their relegation to being men's other, right? And you still want to get married? Well, that is just um, beyond my understanding of women. And I do understand women, trust me, so that is a first. Okay, so now what I will do is I will use uh, another shade, kind of a, a pink shade like this, you know, like, I don't know, I know, orange and pink, it's like, you know, I mean, I don't know, why not? Okay, so uh, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm not saying that uh, men are useless or shouldn't exist. I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. Don't misunderstand me. Don't. No, no misunderstanding. Hein? Pas de malentendu. Um, we do. We do need others. Um, I'm gonna blend that, okay? Okay. Yeah, we do need each other. We do. Um, for example, um, while the self needs otherness uh, to define itself as a subject. I need you to know that I'm not you. You need me to know that you're not me. I need you to know that I'm me. And you need me to know that you're you. <laughs> Easy, see? Uh, you get it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not the only one saying that. Hegel say the same. Sartre say the same. We are a whole club. <laughs> A whole club of existentialists. Camus, Merleau-Ponty. Good mates, good mates. Anyway, so the others, um, the others, you know, other people, the others are necessary to the constitution and identification of, um, of self as self. You understand? But, I mean, there is a catch, of course. Of course, there is, there is always a catch. Um, Well, you don't get it because maybe you're not as well um, educated as I am, you know, you didn't, uh, you don't have an aggregation of a philosophy, that's for sure, but um, I will explain to you everything. Um, so basically, uh, understanding yourself, well, not yourself, I mean, the self-understanding is only possible through, 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 Uh, others through alterity only 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 if the alterity is reciprocal that's the catch Recipro reciprocal you know what i mean what i mean is that women like me like you like you know like women you know women uh, women uh, like me and like you we are always identified as the other the other by men who take on the role of the self. Do you understand? Okay, now, how about a little bit of eyeliner? Why not, you know? Why not? Eyeliner? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. You can choose. You choose oui ou non. Oui, non. Oui, non. Oui? Okay. So, you will have to close your eyes again. Huh? I know I'm pretty, but uh, you have to close your eyes. 
Okay, anyway. Just like you, I had the opportunity to get married, so don't think I don't understand you, I do. I mean, Jean-Paul proposed, of course. Jean-Paul Jean Sartre proposed, of course. And, I mean, look at me. It's logical, of course, he was going to propose. But the problem was, I was supposed to work in Marseille, which is in the south of France, and Jean-Paul was supposed to work uh, in the Havre. So basically, like, opposite directions, you know? So he said, uh, why not getting married? Uh, because if we do, we will probably be affected in the same area, and it's going to be easier for us, uh, for our relationship, you know? Um, but what did I say? Um, <laughs> do you see a ring on that finger? No, no, I say no, no merci, no. You know, I said that uh, marriage uh, multiplies by two the family obligations and all other, um, you know, social duties. And by changing my relationships with others, other people, it would have changed my uh, relationship with uh, JP, uh, JP Jean-Paul, Jean-Paul Sartre. Mm -hmm. Now, I will put a little bit of mascara um, because, you know, I like mascara, so, okay. You will have to uh, look up to the sky. Mm? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Very good, very good. Très bien, c'est parfait. You look ravissante, mesmerizing. Okay. The eye makeup is done, so I will put a little bit of uh, powder on your face because your complexion is, well, your skin. I mean, it's not anti anti feminist uh, to say you are ugly, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I'm kidding. I mean, I'm Simon de Beauvoir, but I still, I still have some sense of humor. Anyway, you look great. I will just uh, put a bit of um, of a powder to make uh, you you complexion look more um, even, you know, even, yeah, the, the same, yeah. Okay, anyway, I didn't marry, that's my point, and you shouldn't marry. You shouldn't. Marriage is utter madness, you know? Anyway, next question. Do you identify, close your mouth, Cl do you want to eat powder? No, so close your mouth. No, actually open your mouth because I have a question for you. So, do you identify to an impossible ideal? I mean, you know, you know how in myth, uh, women are always uh, either the loving mother, um, the pure virgin, the motherland, um, the manic pixie dream girl, you know, the Kylie Jenner, you know, you know what I mean. So, which one are you? Which one do you identify with? The hoe. The hoe. That's good, that's good. Actually, I'm a bit of a hoe myself, you know. Uh, I hoe around with uh, my student, you know. Mm. Well, of course, I'm in an open relationship. It goes without saying. Free and proud to be a hoe. Don't move. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Mm. Now, I'm going to uh, do your lipstick, so I will need you to pucker up and I'm going to use um, this um, kind of uh, burgundy color um, lipstick, you know, um, it's kind of a whole lipstick color, so that, that's going to be great for you, I use it myself, see, so okay, um, pucker up, okay, mm-hmm, 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 okay, you know, like, um, well, men, men have always attempted to trap women into these impossible ideals. Uh, they deny the individuality of all the different kinds of women there is on this planet. But you know that is good. You you identify as the whole. And um, and what about your boyfriend? Uh, how does he see you? Which stereotype uh, does he um, identify you with? You know the queen you're his queen pas mal he's a good one this one you know you should you should keep him you did you did very well there he's a keeper he worship you good good you know in my time there was no queen there was no hoe 
you were either good wife or the bad girl, you know. But I'm glad to see that the people have evolved, you know, that women have uh, emancipated and reclaimed their selfhood. And you should, you should very, you should really, uh, you should really pride yourself on uh, thinking, uh, taking action, working, creating on the same terms um, as men. And instead of uh, seeking to disparage them, uh, you should declare yourself their equal. Oh, you already do. Well, that, that, that's very well then. But okay, I respect your choice of wanting to getting married, to marry, marriage, marriages. Yeah, why not? I mean, if you are now living in a world where women have access to the same activities and projects as men, if women are treated as equal to men in law and custom and education, I mean, why not? Why not? You know, why not? You are free to do whatever you want with your freedom, I mean, with your life and heart. Yep. Mm. Anyway, if you are interested in my uh, philosophy, you know, um, I wrote uh, many books, many many books. One of them was so good, so good, so 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 good. It was uh, prohibited by the Vatican. <laughs> I mean, you can really say that's a good book, you know. Who can really top that, you know? Not a man, that's for sure. Anyway, it is called The Second Sex. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I mean, I'm not kidding about the Vatican prohibiting it. But yes, uh, the book is called The Second Sex. So, you know, second wave feminism, second sex second second it's it's easy to remember see and uh, you know when you get older you can also read the coming of age another book it's about old peeps being oppressed and everything yeah okay d'accord you look gorgeous a true hoe a true queen you know uh, and i hope well that you have a good time uh, at the club and um, have a very pleasurable night <laughs>